Hey, Mike. Yeah. Tell me the story about President IASA Janet Light being absconded with to the base, put under imprisonment in uh, late 2006 or 2007. Well, what happened, Marty, was the in, in uh, the in bites. Yeah. Sometime in late 2006, it, it became apparent that Janet had become pretty disaffected with DM. Okay. She was upset about uh, his management style and treatment of staff and treatment of her, and she had somehow fallen into disfavor after having been a favorite for a long time because of the amount of money that they had dished out to him, etc. Yeah, I mean, when I was around, they, they made huge salaries. They were always on Fifth Avenue shopping wherever they were in New York. Yeah, well, that continued for a long time. Yeah. But in any event, even though I was in the hole, I got pulled in by Warren McShane and told that I had to help figure out how what they were up to. So there were PIs that were hired, and then uh, back in those days, the cell phones weren't as advanced as they are now, but a cell phone was gotten, uh, and it was activated to have the G You can have GPS tracking on a cell phone. It just shows, it just comes up on a computer right. and shows you where the phone is. Well, the phone was taped to the inside of the car, the, the trunk of their car. So you improvised a bugging device. Basically. Exactly. Tracking device. Exactly. And they were off getting uh, medical treatment and dental treatment, uh, you know, like everything that they could before they left the sea bug. Really? And getting their passports and Colm, Colm, her husband, was getting a driver's license. And uh, okay, so how did Miscavige react to all this? Hey, what do you got? Uh, the wall. Oh, one of those rockfish, huh? Yeah, rockfish. And there was a, a, a time when Janet kept asking to meet with Miscavige and he wouldn't meet with her and then she asked to meet with me because she'd known me forever and I went down to the HGB and met with her in Colm and uh, nothing really came of that other than Miscavige being convinced that she was about to take off so the next thing that happens is a whole bunch of people are like auditioned in the hole for the mission to go get Janet. Yeah. Meaning they got everybody got pulled in like American Idol to have a little interview to find out whether they were in good enough shape to uh, go down and pluck Janet out of LA and bring her back to the hole. And DM was Simon Cowell? Yeah, exactly. Well, he wasn't there. He was down at ASI, but I, I can't remember who it was that was, it was sort of Warren was overseeing it. Okay. And then the next thing that happens is all these uniforms, everybody had to get put in uniforms, all these uniforms get, show up. You know, everybody's uniforms gotten out of mothballs because they've been in the hole for I don't know how long. And then depending on how many stripes they had on their sleeve, a whole bunch were added. So, so everybody had so a lot all, of authority. And there was like a bunch of captains and every everybody that wasn't a captain was a commander suddenly for this uh -huh. out of the hole. And went down to, got loaded into buses with uh, security guard escorts and went down to ASI. Escorts to watch the people that were going <laughs> to capture them? Exactly. Her? Okay. And uh, down to ASI, and there's Miscavige there to do the final briefing, and he's there with Monique Yingling. Monique Yingling, the, the attorney lawyer. who's been around for 20 years and has never taken a Scientology course or an auditing session. That's the She's one. She's in on the mission briefing to kidnap this woman. That's the one. Wow. So I guess she wasn't extremely forthcoming with the St. Pete Times and uh, CNN when she said that there's absolutely no illegalities or violence or any of the sort, trafficking or anything like that going on. Yeah, I, w I would say Monique has been I a got little one. less. Damn it, you got away. A little right. less than forthcoming in some of these interviews. In any event, uh, so at the time a uh, IAS was in the building that was the, the annex behind the old or the BPI building yes. on Fountain Avenue. So there's like all these lookouts out there checking out when everybody's in there. And when, as soon as everybody's in, so Janet and Lise and Colm, her husband, and everybody is in there, then IAS people. boom, everybody marches in. Like all 15 march in at once. The doors are all locked. Janet gets put in one room. Colm, her husband, had a, a, went fucking crazy started yelling and screaming and said, you know, this is illegal, this is off policy, this is wrong, get the fuck out of here, you guys have no right, blah, blah, blah. And in the end, Kurt and three other people manhandled him into a closet where Kurt sat on him. Kurt, Kurt was like 275 yeah. pounds, 
sat on him in a chair for about five hours until Janet was gotten out of there. Colm then was sent to the free winds and put in the engine room, kept under uh, guard and kept completely separated from Janet. He could still be there to this day for all I know. Um, Janet and Lise Coey, the legal officer IAS, the PR, Melissa, her communicator, that uh, little Asian girl, right, and uh, Debbie, no, I can't, maybe a couple of other guys were then bustled in the cars and sent up to, or brought up to Int with, of course, stuffed in the hole or put in the hole, and now because that was the newest catch for the hole, she became, or they became, target number one for the feeding frenzy that would happen in the hall every time a new person arrived there. Okay, well, what did Janet say when you guys sent her in? She refused to begin with. She was like, I'm not going anywhere, I'm done with this, I've had enough. Uh, it was several hours of reasoning, bargaining, dealing, cajoling, convincing before she finally agreed that she would go. She wasn't being told she was going to the hole. She was being told she was going to int. Okay, was she aware of the hole? Uh, actually, I, I don't remember, Marty. You haven't I, seen her I, there I before recall. getting a tour by him? I know you used to like to take people there. To yeah, I don't the, remember. Watch the inmates, you know? I don't think that she had been there on a tour. I would suspect that she knew about the hole. Okay. But, you know, because the, the people who were on the inn with Miscavige knew about the hole. Okay. But I don't know for well, sure. Well, let me ask you this. Had you guys not physically restrained and imprisoned Colm, do you think there's any chance you would have got her up to him? No. In fact, I'm sure not. Okay. Her and Colm had been planning for months and months and months how they were leaving the sea Org. I'll be gone. Months. So all we, for all we know, Colm could still be down in the engine room, really, essentially against his will. Yes, he could be. He could, he could be like Don Jason. And Janet Light? You ever know whatever happened to her? I mean, no, when, I don't. by the time you left, she was still a whole. Yeah, she was still a in whole the hole. Whole and rolling. Yep. Wow. And then what happened was the IAS on the ship got locked down uh -huh. under the, the control of Mike Napier. All IAS people were taken into the, the uh, whatever, the Starlight Cabaret. Uh -huh. All their phones were taken away. All the they were put on full-time OW writing. They weren't allowed to communicate with anybody, nothing. Uh -huh. And then the sort of all Janet's allies were all then segregated and taken out. Okay. And whoever was left, which wasn't very many people, they then kind of took over the IAS. Wow. And it was all being run by Miscavige, and Miscavige was actually running Freddie Hunkler daily. And who's Freddie Hunkler? He was one of the IAS regs that ended up being, uh, you know, remained after the bloodbath. I'll be damned. And so I guess this is around early 2007-ish. Yeah. So this is really sort of the, the enablement of the complete hyperdrive psychotic, psychosis, no uh, holds barred, um, Full scale, everybody can reg, everybody must reg, IAS crush reg. Absolutely, because now the IAS became clearly either with or against Miscavige. If you were against, you were gone. Okay. So it was only the people that were with. So then it became one of his little pet projects. So as his pet project, they could do whatever the fuck they wanted. And not only could they do what they wanted, he was the one that was setting the quotas for them. Wow. Because he wasn't going to have the IAS income go down after he got rid of Janet. Sure. He was going to make it go up. Right. And that was the beginning of these weird deals where the IAS started offering discounts and special incentives for people. Right. Okay. So he's still at it to this day. Absolutely. Unrestrained. Absolutely. All right. I got a bite and a fish. Let's take a break. Actually, oh, do shit. Oh!